Bork, bork, bork. Hey everyone, time for more of this. Oh, wh wh where's the pupper? She seems frightened of something. The ticket over there is moving. Again? Don't. Alright. Something is hiding in the thicket. I breathe motion. Something is moving. What's the matter, Alice? Is there something out there? Damn it. <laughs> oh, well, good puppy. Just making sure. Well, I thought that was going to be something exciting. It was just a raven. Oh, really? Oh, okay, bye. Nothing different in here? Okay. Don't worry, I'll come back. I'm sure. You know, let's go back to Play-Dohs real quick. Now that we have a link between Jean and uh, Play-Dohs Cavern, let's see if he has anything to say. The employee, I mean. Probably unnecessary, but just in case. Let's see if maybe Gibson sa had said anything to him. No, god damn it. Why is the turbo cycle the first option? Let me help you. Hey, oh, it's you. Okay, well, let, me, let, me, let me show you this, uh photo. Wait a second. I've seen this guy somewhere. Yeah, we saw that here. The world's getting weird all the time. This stuff is selling really good in the middle of the winter. The other day, we had this Chinese doctor. He bought a whole stock of it. Really? Tell me about this Chinese doctor. Hmm. A little guy with a beard, maybe. Uh, he was in here with some guy who looked Jewish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they bought them all. A whole box of them. Hmm. Maybe they're starting their own business. Nothing else to say. Sorry, we don't have any in stock right now. I don't get it, man. How come they want sunscreen in the middle of the winter? Well, a Chinese doctor and a guy who looks, quote, Jewish. Right. Okay, so... Alright, let's get out of here then. I don't think there's anything else we can do here.
So he probably has some snatchers. But for now, we'll have to settle to going back to outer heaven. Unfortunately, I don't think I can go into, into Jordan and look up Chinese doctor or Jew. I don't think that'd be very helpful. Do again? What can I do for you? A Nissan statue in uh, So I have this photo. This guy? I might have met him somewhere. No, I can't remember. She seems like she might be able to remember. What have I shown again? Take a careful look, okay? Hmm. Oh, that's right. This is the guy who got sick after eating buffalo. I remember him. about Gibson. Well, it was just the other day. It was a masquerade hour, so I remember his face pretty clearly. He seemed to be waiting around for one of our regular customers. A regular? He was going out of his way to eat buffalo when he spat out blood. I was really grossed out. You say he was waiting for someone? Well, I suppose it was more like he was following him. He left as soon as the other guy did. About that man. That boy. Would you mind telling me a little bit about that boy? I don't know his name. But he was in here all the time. Especially when we weren't running Masquerade Hour. I saw Masquerade Hour. So that means you've seen his face then. Do you remember it? I think so. Alright, Metal. Let's have her come down to the headquarters with us. <laughs> we need to use Jordan to put together a montage. <laughs> We're going to bring this stripper home. <laughs> We can't take her to headquarters. Why not? Well, it's like the manager said, she's a star actress. If the media were to find out about this, we'd never get any cooperation ever again. What are you mumbling about? This is really a delicate issue. Although inconvenient, we should take down her description and then go back to headquarters to build the montage on our own. That boy. What was he up to? He was in here at all different times, so he probably doesn't have a job or work for your hours. That boy. Can you try to remember his, his distinguishing characteristics? Okay, again, keep the description in mind. Afterwards, we can use it to put together a montage. Oh shit. Uh, I guess I should take notes. I need to open my thing. Okay, what kind of facial shape? What's the overall shape of his face? Bony face. Type of eyes. What about his eyes? He has a truly piercing gaze, a rather threatening look. Oh, okay. Still, just in case. Just in case.
kind of nose did he have? It was pointy, like mine. Mouth? He had thin lips, I think. How was he wearing his hair? It was sort of naturally flowing towards the back of his head. He had a big widow's peak. Actually flowing. Here with. About how old would you say he was? He looked like he was in his 30s. 30s. Let's change the subject. Thanks very much. You've been very helpful. I hope you can use this information. Investigate! It might be take too long to check these, er, you out. <laughs> Such bad jokes. <laughs> Bruh. Come on! Where are you gonna take me? It has to be really it has to be a really exciting place or I'll leave. Exciting. Hmm. What kind of place would that be? Oh dear. I can see I'd be wasting my time. So a kiss just isn't good enough for you, huh? Now that makes two women who have dumped you. Well, there's no problem with my approach. No, the problem is you. Well you know they say many women are uncomfortable around particularly handsome men. Whatever you say, Gillian. And yeah, that hair. <laughs> I ap I appreciate your uh your your, your butt tit zerker uh uh icon by the way. Uh, I don't think I need to ask for anything else. That's what I'm talking about that boy. I've only been here for a month, so I don't know anything about what happened before that. Thanks. I think what you told me may help us a bit. Okay, see ya. We should use this information to build a montage of the suspect, and then run it through Jordan to see if there are any matches. You mean like building a composite photograph? It would be nice if Isabella would come back to the headquarters with us. I guess we'll just have to have her take a look at it later. Alright, back to the station. <laughs> Think, Zerker. <laughs> See, I didn't even consider that. That's actually interesting. I've learned something new, then. Right, right, right. Uh... Right, you took HQ. <laughs> My brain was melting. Apologies. Okay, on to Jordan. Bye, Mika. Bye, Mika. If there's any information you wish to, that you can look at everything in the Jordan system, all right.
Let's create a montage. Oh, but before we do that... I'm gonna get the deets. Isabella Velvet, age 24, height 175 centimeters, blood type O positive. She's just like me, for real, for real. Popular actress in, in holographic and virtual reality movies. Seen Dancing at Club Out of Heaven by director Ridley, Ridley Scotty. Okay. And made debut, debut in some of his works. Won Best Best Actress Award at Kobe International Film Festival in 2045. Special Judges Award at Cannes in 2046. Nominated for Best Actress Academy Award in 2046 and 47. Holographic appearances. Indecent Proposition. Kisses the Honeybee. The Other Side of Sadness. And uh, Catch Her in the Rye. Star Luster and Naked Pistol. Ah! Okay. Now then, the montage. Select facial parts to resemble a complete likeness. Alright, let's try constructing a montage photograph of the substance. You can use the scan database to co command to search for possible matches when completed. Isabella said the guy had sort of a bunny look, didn't she? No. Mm. A bony face, probably two. That doesn't seem right. Well, what's your definition of bony then? I guess, well, I guess five. Probably, yeah, actually. Yeah, okay. That that that's fair. That's fair. Oh, wait, why why are you telling me about the face but not the eyes? Oh, very piercing gaze, threatening look. Uh, probably three. Okay, nose. Does two count? What was it naturally flowing? I think that's what she said. The Alpha One Network will be searched.
Okay, some of these are, like, really questionable. <sighs> okay, Henrique, are you there? Just look up the proper combo for me, please. Like, two strikes me as particularly thin. <laughs> oh my god, dog face. <laughs> it is a dog face. Okay, they want mouth number three. Is that the only thing I got wrong? Okay. Why did they only warn me about the first one? Now that that one has to be five. That's the boniest looking. That could be it. Piercing, threatening. Uh, see, their their definitions of what is what is kind of. naturally flowy. The only one that looks naturally flowy is three. Thank you, Zappa. That'll do. Go ahead and lay it on me, because this system isn't the best for this. Okay. Face one is considered bony? Really? But two and three, uh, two and five look way more gaunt. That's what I think of when I think of bony. I guess. Okay. So how many of these did I get right? Okay, I got the eyes right initially. I had nose one right. Mouth one. Really? That's the... Uh... Okay, if they say so. I was nowhere close on that one then. Whoops. And here are three. Well, I mean, we didn't scan yet, so let's give it a go. Either I put it in wrong... I think you might have been trolled. Okay, let's try this again. Phase three? Really? Okay. I, I could I could see that as being like piercing. It didn't really look like it on there, but once it once I put it on the model. Wait, wait, that was, that was, yeah, it was nose. Never mind. 
Now three. So that's one we didn't guess yet. I was thinking maybe that one, but... Oh, no, did I try that one? Whatever. And here, two? That's naturally flowing? All right. There we go, we have a winner. Good grief. All right, we did it. Good work, Gillian. Thank you, guys. Two possible matches for Montage Photographical Cave. Possibility one, probability a match, 70%. Ivan Rodriguez, air surfer, 27 years old. Address, 522 South Itayado, Itayado, uh, SN District. Caution. Non municipal data administration district. Possibility number two. Probability of match 65%. Displaying data. Freddie Nielsen. Taxi driver. No company affiliation. 29 years old. Address. Promotor Okamoto. Apartment 202. 378. New Okamoto. MR District. Family. Wife. Lisa. Age 25. Now printing montage photograph. Gillian, the, man the montage has been printed. Now we're in business. It's a simple two-dimensional rendering of Jordan's three-dimensional data, but it should have proved useful anyway. Well, we got their addresses. Shall we pay these gentlemen a visit? One of these men is no doubt the snatcher who killed Chief. We've almost got him now. Let's go investigate the suspects. Well, shouldn't we bring the photo back to her? Hi, Mika! Bye, Mika! I'm on the case. Now we're going back to Outer Heaven. This is still Act 1. I'm really slow. There's apparently three acts all together. Uh... Mask? Do again? What can I do for you? Wait. Montage photo. Hmm. I think that's what you look like. Oh, so this we can't. Could we show her like the color photographs that we got? That seems kind of dumb. Why didn't we just print out both of their pictures? And then she'd go, oh yeah, that guy. Like, if you could tell us if it was just blue hair or white hair, that alone would, like, solve it for us. Uh, oh well, whatever. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Except try out another date. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Uh, I, I, I guess that's it. About that boy. <laughs> Liar. 
Like, seriously, can't we just ask her their hair color? Really? All right. Might as well try. Would you mind giving me your phone number? I'm afraid I can't tell you. Is well, is right. No, I really shouldn't. Give it up. Give it up now. <laughs> oh, okay, you win. All right, listen carefully. I'm only going to tell you once. It's 396004. When you call, make it in the afternoon, okay? 396004. Gotcha. <laughs> What's that st sticker supposed to mean? Okay, Metal Gear! <laughs> this place is using a transmitter to emit a signal which stands searches from government satellites. Boy, they're really taking preca precautions, don't they? Dude, this, we're right out in the open. Well, these days it's hard to get customers in a place with, that doesn't block the scans. The public's resistance to this government attempts to completely control it, completely control and manage information, eh? The video phone cannot be used here. Okay, fine, geez. I'll be waiting for your call. <laughs> it did it, boys. We got a stripper's phone number. You know, that's not what she is. Can I use it here? I'm still in the stegosaur. <laughs> Trolled. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Will you be my friend? Got him. up by the chief. You're deceived. We won't we'll do that if you give him the chance. Fooey on the... <laughs> I have been trolled. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was going to stop at the four parts, but I kind of want to keep going, so I'll cut it off here and uh, she'll know what order I'm up... Well, I know what order I'm uploading these in, but I just don't know, like, Whatever. You know what I mean. You know my scheduling. Anyway, bye.